Hey everybody. During one of my live streams recently, I was asked what my thoughts were about using water clarifiers in our aquariums if we have an issue with sort of a cloudy water outbreak or something like that. And I thought it was a topic that's worth discussing. I haven't talked about water clarifiers in years and I haven't used water clarifiers in years, but they are worth discussing because they do have their benefits, but at the same time, we need to sort of think about why we're using them, how we're using them, etc. And so in this video, that's exactly Exactly what we're going to talk about. So first of all, I read way too much about water clarifiers and I got way deeper into the weeds than we need to go for the purposes of this video. In a nutshell, suffice it to say that water clarifiers are basically additives that you put in your aquarium that are coagulant agents. They cause little tiny, tiny, tiny molecules to stick together. And when you've got cloudy water, you can think about it in the same way you think about smoke. Smoke is a tiny, 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 tiny little particulate matter that if you get enough of them together, it looks solid. You can't even see through it. But no individual particle of that smoke is visible to the naked eye. They're microscopic. And that's what cloudy water is. It's the same thing. It's microscopic particles that are swirling around in the water, and because of their ionic charge, they will stay in the water. They will never get out of the water or settle out or get collected by the filter. They're so tiny, they pass right through the filter, and they will just stay in our aquarium forever. And so what these coagulant agents do is they bind to these little tiny molecules, and then they cause other molecules to stick to them, and then another one sticks to that, and you get this snowball effect and soon these clumps of molecules get large enough that they can now be picked up by your filter and they will get cleared out of your tank. Uh, another way this can happen is they, it's called flocculation, where these things actually get so large that they become heavy enough to just settle out of the water and they actually simply settle to the bottom and you don't even need to filter them out. Uh, you can do this in ponds or for drinking water. There's all sorts of ways you can use this water clarifying technique um, called coagulation flocculation. And that's exactly what we're doing in our aquarium when we use this water clarifier. So there's no harm in that. There's nothing wrong with that. But I have seen articles in the fish keeping community that claim that this product will only work on like organic materials such as, well, they listed everything from sand to leaf litter to uneaten fish food. I don't know how they lump all of that into organic material. I wouldn't necessarily call sand organic, but they said it doesn't work on living organisms. In other words, it won't work on a bacterial bloom, which often causes cloudy water. If we've got a new tank we're cycling it in or we're still sort of stabilizing that new tank and maybe you're having little issues, which is my case, I'll tell my story about this in a minute. Um, and so this clarifying agent is supposedly, according to these articles I've read, does not work on these bacterial blooms. In my experience, it does work on these bacterial blooms, and in all my reading I was just doing, that's one of the things people have been using this water clarifying technique for thousands of years to do, is to make water safe to drink. It gets rid of the bacteria, it gets rid of microbes, it gets rid of parasites, it does all sorts of stuff. There's also various ways of, of doing this and various agents that cause this and so on and so forth, and that's why I say I don't want to get too deep in the weeds, but there are people out there that claim that the products we use in our aquarium will not clear up a bacterial bloom. And in retrospect, my cloudy water issues that I had years ago almost certainly came from a bacterial bloom. And when I used the water clarifiers, it worked. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. The problem was I was not addressing my underlying issue. And a couple days later, the water would be cloudy again. And so I'd use more water clarifier. And again, within a day, the water would clear up but I was not addressing the underlying issue and the water would become cloudy again. And I went around and around with this for a long time. And every time I went to the store, the fish shop guy would just sell me more water clarifier. He never asked me what I'm doing, how you're doing it. He just kept reassuring me, oh, it's just a little bacterial bloom. Your, your, your tank's still just getting cycled in. Don't worry about it. This will get it cleared up. Your fish will be fine. And what I was doing was I was improperly cleaning my filter. I was cleaning my filter. And I did not know at the time that that black filter in your hang on the back filter was not 
actually a filter. It was the biological filter, and I was treating it as though it was a mechanical filter, and every time I did a filter change, I was cleaning my filter. I was replacing the pad, but I was also taking that black coarse filter out of there and scrubbing that out clean and putting it back in. And so every time I did a water change, I was disrupting the process of the cycle getting started. Now, I had gravel and stuff in the tank, and so very slowly the tank was working on cycling itself in, but every time I got in there and worked on that filter, I disrupted the cycle again, and I just always would, I just always had issues with cloudy water in this tank. And the guy at the store never troubleshooted. He never asked me questions. He never tried to figure out why are you constantly having me. He just kept selling me this water clarifier. And it worked. I'd put it in the tank within a day. You know, the next morning the water would be clear. Within two or three days it would be cloudy again. I'd put more water clarifier in. Overnight it would clear it up. Two or three days later the water would start getting cloudy again. So the water clarifier was definitely clearing away these bacterial blooms I was having. I just was going, the, the bacterial blooms were just coming back because of what I was doing. And therein lies my concern with the water clarifiers. If you've got cloudy water, there's a reason you've got cloudy water. Something's going on in your aquarium to cause that water to be cloudy, whether it's a bacterial bloom or other issues. Something is happening that's causing your water to, to be cloudy. And so if we put these water clarifiers in there and we clear it up, you now have sort of removed your mechanism for keeping an eye on what's going on with the tank. Most cloudy water will clear up on its own if you address the underlying issue. More often than not, the cloudy water is not hurting your fish in any way. It's not, having, it's not causing any problems. It's just, it doesn't look good and we want to get that out of there. But again, that cloudy water is what's letting us know something's wrong. So if we're working on a tank and we're trying to get it cycled in or we're working on some sort of issue, allowing that water to stay cloudy allows us to see how we're making progress and the water is beginning to clear up and within a week or two now that we've got the filter cycled in or whatever and you'll begin to see that water clear up on its own and that's the way I choose to approach it. Ever since I sort of figured out what was going on in the beginning and I kind of learned my mistake in relying on this water clarifier to clear my water up rather than figuring out what the core problem was. And again, these are my very, very early days of fish keeping. I've learned quite a bit since then. But that was one of my early fundamental lessons in not relying too much on chemical additives to sort of get me through until things sort themselves out. I want to know what's going on in the tank. Uh, I don't use additives when I cycle a tank. I do it naturally by, you don't, by doing frequent water changes and all that. And it's because I just don't want to mask an underlying issue. And a lot of those times we'll see the results of those underlying issues by having cloudy water or when you check this or check that and you can see what's going on in the tank. And so if we put stuff in there that kind of covers those things up, then we don't really know what's actually going on in the tank anymore. Again, more often than not, I can't really think of a situation where cloudy water is gonna be an issue for your fish. We just don't like the way it looks. And so, if it is a little spur of the moment thing, like for example, right now, uh, I've set up a pond out in my backyard and I recently put a bunch of uh, gravel in the bottom, a bunch of pea gravel, and whenever you do that, I don't know if you've ever used like play sand or whatever, but you get that cloudy water and I drain the pond and filled it several times and there's still just a little bit of cloudiness left in the water but I know what that cloudiness is it's that sandy stuff and that will never get out of there unless I do something to get it out of there and so I've ordered some water clarifier for that purpose I'm gonna put it in there and it's gonna cause all those little molecules of sand to clump together they'll get out of the water I'll have nice clean and clear water and then I can allow the pond to start cycling in naturally and all that. So this is a situation where I know what the problem is and this will be a solution for that problem. This won't be a band-aid that just sort of covers the issue. This will take care of my issue. My issue is simply there's particulate matter in the water. There's some sand in the water that I can't get out and this coagulant agent will get it out for me. I may have to put a filter on it. 
uh, temporarily until I can filter out all of the sand. Right? You know, I don't know if the sand is going to just get out naturally by settling to the bottom. Uh, I've got an under gravel uh, filter system set up, and so that sand may just go right back in and just keep swirling around. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But that's the kind of situation where I'd be comfortable using it. I know what the cause of the problem is, and I know I'm not masking anything by using this water clarifier. I'm simply getting rid of the problem itself by using the water clarifier. I'm not covering another problem. And that's what worries me about using these products. But otherwise, they do seem to work. And again, regardless of what people were saying about them not clearing up bacterial blooms, I used the Tetra brand. And for whatever that's worth, that's what I've ordered again to use in my pond out back. But that's what I used in the past. And it absolutely cleared up my cloudy water. And again, knowing what I was doing, and you heard my story, how I was cleaning the filter and everything, could that have been anything other than a bacterial bloom? You know, and so it worked on those bacterial blooms as far as I'm concerned. What I'm curious about is to find out whether or not it will work on algae. I've got my snail tank. I'm struggling with green water. I've got it blacked out right now and the green water is almost gone. But I'm tempted to turn the light back on and see if I can't get that water green again and then try to use water clarifier to see if it'll actually get rid of cloudy green water. My thought is no. And I've actually read a couple different places where it does not affect living algae. But if you do something to shock and kill the algae, like a um, like a sodium hypochlorite treatment, a bleach treatment, or like if you've got a pool with green water and you do a shock treatment on the pool where there's no fish involved, um, and you kill the algae, then the water clarifier will get the dead algae out of the tank. But living algae in a green water situation, in theory, will not be uh, removed by using one of these water clarifiers. But I'm curious about it. I'm tempted to try it just to find out. So make sure you're subscribed and you'll see whether I do that or not. Plus, you don't want to find out, you know, you, know, you don't want to miss what's going to happen uh, with the pond. You want to find out how, how that all uh, pans out and everything else. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss that or anything else. So thanks for watching this one. Don't forget, I do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Those are always a good time. Uh, lots of information shared, lots of questions answered and all that good stuff. So make sure you're uh, subscribed. Make sure you ring that bell and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.